Debbie, you've been with the camp for many, many a years. Can you tell us about it? Sure. Uh, my name is Debbie Bellick, and I'm the um, executive director and founder of the Children's Organ Transplant Society. And about 19 years ago, we partnered up with the Kidney Foundation to start a camp, a children's camp, which is amazing. So we've had, oh, we've just, it's been years and years, except for of course the three years of COVID that we've been closed. And this year our camp is a little bit smaller, um, but we're really working really hard to make sure that all of our kids stay healthy and safe at camp as well. Because our kids obviously struggle with a lot of other, a lot of medical issues and issues at school and sometimes some learning disabilities. Kids may not necessarily have a lot of friends, but they come up to camp and they, they meet Meet other friends and being at the ocean is incredible and taking the boat over is one of the highlights that the kids absolutely love taking the boat back and forth and they leave just so enlightened and so happy from meeting other kids. It's really nice to work so closely with the Kidney Foundation as well and for us to work together for the greater good of the children, you know, BC's transplant children. So it just is just, a, what can I say, amazing. So the camp is attended by children from all over BC or correct, or where correct. Okay. yeah so our invitations go out to all children in British Columbia who have renal disease as well as well as children who have had transplants um, and that right now where the kids that are um, joining us are between the ages of uh, 10 and 18 we may change that going forward forward again back to eight which is what we used to have but we you know we sort of held off on that because of COVID you know they drive all the way in from Carameas and and, uh, and another girl that's here is from Quinnell and you know it's just so amazing really really fantastic and is there a cost for the family to have it no the cost family? for the family no cost for the family so um, each of our charities of course pay the your foundation and our charities pay for our kids to attend camp and then we will we also will assist as you know um, with travel expenses if parents need some help with gas gas costs and things like that to come in and out so years ago when my son attended when he was I think it was nine and ten actually um, the, his comment when he first came home after the first year was mom it's the first place I've ever been where I'm just treated and feel like a normal person and not a transplant kid. And it was and it was just that was a wow moment for me and I see, and I hear it and I see it with the other children as as well because their whole world is they really their whole world is picked apart medically, educationally, you know, and and it's for the rest of their lives. That's what that's what that's that's the part that I think that the public really doesn't get that once children have had transplants or are heading you know heading towards and had a transplant they are in the medical system for the rest of their lives they never come out of it and that's a big thing burden almost a burden for them to carry and a worry um, for these young people living trying to live their lives as as well as they can as my says my son's chatu says live life to the fullest and. That's what we try to do and that's what we hope we instill a little bit while they're at camp. And of course we have an incredible nurses that have dedicated years and years of vacation and time to help us organize these camps. What kind of wish might you have for the kids that attend camp here? My wish for BC's transplant children is that they just continue to flourish and as I said live life to the fullest and that they have the support and the kindness around them to help them accomplish those things.